too stupid to realize, but we're going to tell you that Out of Nowhere podcast was filmed in front of a live studio audience. I don't know what you mean, but let's do it. So what you're saying? So we can put, I can put our stuff on the TV. Put our stuff on the TV, but then we record this with a green screen, like it is right now. Right now, yeah. We say the exact same thing, and then uh, how many times do we have to say it? Just we one. just have to do the one time. So this could be the opening for. <laughs> so this is what you're gonna do. Is what I, is what I'm hearing is you're gonna take this, you're gonna put it on that screen. Yeah. And then play it. But but what you need to do now or put a what is this? Tell me, uh, dude. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's un. It's it's somebody else. But you'll just keep going and going and going and going. I see. And you're recording this now. What? Yes. Which is good. Yeah. Okay. What would be a good motion for us to do to have it go like that though? You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like um, I'm just gonna zoom in and out because it'll look cool. I think maybe. Okay. Um, you tell me. What would be a good motion to see over and over and over again? <laughs> I know what you're wondering. One, what? Is this, is this on? on? Is this on? Maybe One, I could two? be back there. Maybe. Tell you what to wear? <laughs> the clothes. Uh, we have a little angle difference today. Yeah. Anybody notice? We're going to give not. this a shot. No, they notice because it's a big giant screen there instead of a don't be a dick uh, <laughs> well, sticker. That might be up on that screen yeah, soon. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll just go like this to you. Whoa. And I'll try to get it in real quick. That's it. I'm in the TV now. Yeah. Now I'm out of the TV. You're in the TV, yeah. Oh, so man. hopefully the angling doesn't bother anybody. That's all right. Who cares? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, <laughs> good point. You start your own podcast. Yeah. Do what you want to yeah. do. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. You? I'm all right. Um, you can't really. Well, I'm a little pissed. Go. Let's unpack this. Yeah. Nothing well, really to unpack, but I I am. It's not really going to matter to you, but I don't want to call it particular. But I. I should say particular. I like things that's done a certain way, and when they don't get done a certain way... You're narcissistic. I, I wouldn't call it narcissistic. <laughs> Where I'm going with this is I got, a, uh, I got a haircut the other day, and it may not look like anything to you guys. It may. It may not. Go back and watch all the videos several times and mm -hmm. like it several Wait, times. Subscribe. Um, but <clears throat> I tried a new barbershop out. <laughs> Number one, I was there for about an hour. Wow. And they don't, they didn't face me to the mirror. They the faced mirror? me away from the mirror while the he mirror. did his thing. So like for, for 45 minutes, he was just working on this. He's in your living room, yeah. everybody. Yeah, he was just working on this. Then what he did, look, it's <laughs> it's it's kind of, it's too short here. I'm, you're laughing, but it's really. Because I would kill to have hair. <laughs> but listen, uh, where I can put it in that we can put it in the comments to, so that make sure you never ever go there. Wow. But um, we're not, gonna put a we're gonna put a can. A do not enter. That's what we should call it. A do not enter. Um, a cease and desist. But I, I'm sorry. Sir, number one, it ruined my day, and it was like five days ago. So, wow. like, it just wow. didn't. You know. And it was forty five dollars. That's what I know. Forty five. No, a a male haircut. Did they do your beard? I asked him not to, but he did. Wow. Um, so, but, okay, did he wash your hair? No. Okay. It wasn't really, he cut it all off. I understand. So, like, okay, my wife yeah. <laughs> just went, so actually my friend and I, we just talked about this. Um, you should do a podcast. We. This is a whole topic. Yeah. This is a whole, which is not topic one, by the way. Okay. Um, of haircuts across the board. So, growing up, we used to go to Netcong. Arturo Barbershop. Okay. Okay. Arturo. A real barbershop? Yeah. Had the pole and everything like that. Love it. Literally Allen Street and was that 183 or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Where uh, shop right is? That road? No. Um, anyway, by um, uh, by Main Street. Main Street, Allen Street. Like if you're going to go to. Uh, Look what I have. Old House. Yeah. Yeah, finicky. Anyway, um, so there. that's where we used to go. The guy was like. 15 bucks mm -hmm. total and it was like 20 bucks total with the tip 20 we... bucks total with the tip yeah and because you over tipped that 15 right so anyway had rusty scissors no i'm just kidding uh but you go there since you were a kid and there was these places are gone okay they are gone now you got to go to pro hair or you got to go to wh Along where did you with, go well so this place was called urban something i know i know but listen I get a fade. Like, that's what they do. They're obviously... And, and then you walk in, and I forget who the soccer player is, but they have pictures Ronaldo. of... Ronaldo? 
No, who, Messi? Messi. Who's the new one that just Messi. came to? Messi. 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 Anyway, he's got the Check perfect hair that I would have had. It was just <laughs> faded here and then up at the top. But anyway, look. Let's you want to look like a soccer player? No, I don't want to look like a soccer player. But don't put the pictures up there if you're going to do this. Yeah, this I want a, that. This is a butcher job. That looks fantastic. It's a butcher job. You got to put product in it. There is product in it. Oh, my but gosh. It, dude, I, I, so don't wrong. even. Don't even. Well, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't gotten a haircut in 100 years. No. I bought a pair of clippers. I'll cut That's your all. hair. Uh, if I could figure out how to, I can, I've done it myself, COVID times. Oh, yeah? And it worked out pretty well. Yeah. But anyway. Well, you know what? That's fine. Uh, but the whole episode that we should have, uh, or topic in future episode, yeah. should be the differences between... Manscaping. Ma well, manscaping, mm -hmm. and then also womenscaping. Because if my, if my wife ever... And I... And she will probably watch this, but if it'll, she... It'll be 2025. Right. By the time she gets to it. Mm -hmm. If she will walk out of a salon mm -hmm. paying under, under yeah. three digits mm -hmm. before the decibel, all right, and it, it, it would be shocking. Yeah. That's right? not good. No, it's not. But she looks beautiful anyway. She doesn't need to go there. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Hey. What's up? We should have four topics. I think we do have four topics. Oh, we do. At random that oh. we just wrote down on a card here. Things are falling everywhere. I'm sorry. I'm trying to clean up the studio. Um, but hey. You're doing a great job. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's fantastic. Should Comment I get five the, five minutes? Give me five. All right. All right. I can't read what you wrote, but that's fine. You know I know what I, I gave you the topic. Yeah. So. Yeah. Topic number one. Yes. Magazines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Past, present, future. Mm -hmm. There probably isn't no, no future. future. <laughs> there is no future in magazines. When you were a kid. Yeah. What was better than coming home from school mm -hmm. and seeing either a Nintendo Power. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. A uh, East Bay catalog. Okay. We'll, call, we'll, we'll put catalogs okay. in there too. Yeah. Or like maybe even like Guitar magazine World Pro. or... You know, Game Informer, something like that. E so, Electronic Gaming Monthly was mine. Like, I love okay. that okay. thing. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's cancel out. There is no future in magazines. Well, there are. There oh. is. Go ahead. They're all digital. That doesn't count. It, no, but, no, no. And it's funny because they it's not said a magazine. They they give. So if you have a, you're game talking about stop, a website. <laughs> exactly. So it, it's that's not a magazine. It is. it is. So I mean. It, it's very interactive, and they're usually paywalls. Like if you have like, uh, of course, pop ups. Yeah, it's and just it's pop cookies. up after pop up. Yeah, <laughs> they're not even real cookies. Yeah. Terrible. So I wrote down. Yeah, I see this. I I wrote down a couple magazines. I've only owned, bought probably a handful of magazines. Um, but you want to talk about past? Okay, if you go way back. Yep. The very first magazine I ever got. Yep. It's on there, but do you know it? Don't look. Highlights. Wow. Remember highlights? Wow. There was, I don't remember anything other than the fact that they had pictures. You had to match the picture. <laughs> they had, they had pictures. No, they no, no. Sorry. They, they, had, were, they had words. They had words. They had pictures. <laughs> I'm talking about the, old, the, there was one page where you had to find the hidden objects. Um, you know what it kind of looked like? It kind of looked like if you went out to eat. <laughs> it was like sort the of, menu, sort the of. back of a menu. I, I have no, I have, other than that, I have no idea what highlights was for. But I do know that they had know. those pictures in there. Mm -hmm. um, I thought they had a thing called Goofus and Gallant. I never, I never looked at it. I never. You never saw highlights? I've seen it. I've seen it. You've seen it. It's probably still at dentist offices and, and <laughs> seriously, yeah, children's right. children's things, Sports Illustrated. But what? Uh, what? The football phone? No. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're talking about past now. I mean, they're all in the oh, past, yeah. but we're going way past. They had a Sports Illustrated kids. Yes, SI that? Kids. So SI what's kids. funny about SI Kids, I'm going to actually bridge this to another publication. Yeah. Was now mm -hmm. um, a lot of like Tiger Woods, Serena mm -hmm. Williams, a lot of these um, stars. Yeah. They they had their rookie cards or their pre like mainstream, you know, cards. Yeah were issued in these Sports Illustrated for Kids I remember magazines. that. The ones you they, had to fold them out. They were, they were perforated. They were perforated, perforated and you pulled perforated. them out. 
So it, yes. Frank Thomas, Ken Griffey Jr. had them. Are but, they worth anything? Oh my God, yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Gee, worth more than like a seven dollar pack of Fleer Flair? You wouldn't believe it. I mean, anyway, so yeah, uh, more than a John Smiley random 1990 Fleer card, believe it or not. But um, so my other publication that I subscribe to that I got in the mail. In the mail. Because you're right, there is nothing better than and, coming home and like I got mail, and we didn't really know when it was coming. No, we knew kind of when it was coming, like the week. You knew it was yes. like the first yes. week of the month yes. I was gonna get yes. my Beckett baseball yes. card monthly. Beckett, and that was the price guide to yeah. tell you how much your entire savings yes. was up or down. This was the stock market. That for was one of my. That I only bought one. I think I had Roberto Alomar. Now on the front of it. Hold on. So Beckett hat was there, and then also something that rivaled it was yeah. Tough Stuff. Do you Never remember Tough Stuff? Never tough Stuff of had all of the major sports. Plus they had like racing and golf and all the wrestling cards and all this other stuff. Yes. But you want to clean more? You think I'm fidgeting? <laughs> You're looking you think for? I'm fidgeting. Are you looking for your Serena? What? Oh my no, sir. gosh! No, what do you got over here? No sir. Okay. This was the last magazine that I bought. Mad, <laughs> Mad wow. magazine. This was uh, it just came out at the end of 2023. Okay, best of the 80s. Wow. So I I never got Mad magazine, but that would have been one of the what cool me ones. Were, now hold on. If it's a true Mad magazine, yeah. The back cover. The oh no 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 no. So the back cover of a Mad magazine was it was if I remember correctly, the Mad magazine was shaped kind of like a comic book. It was kind of like three quarter size. And, um, well, that's what they have. I mean, this is—it's not three-quarter size, but this is. But what you had to do was actually fold it into itself. Oh. And it would make like a. They do like, have like some thing. some things in here. A little comic. Uh, this is really—you would probably like this. This is pretty cool. Yeah, but I, I bought it. Never really looked at it because I'm just not a fan of reading. Use cool. That's five minutes, but I have others <laughs> because we we have the regular like Nat Geo. I don't. My, my actually uh, Nat Geo kids. My my daughter actually still gets that Nat Geo. So, um, but let's, Rolling Stone is another one that I probably bought once or twice. Yeah, it's like, more of like a collectible type of thing. That's something like yeah, exactly. If you're time, at, never. time, never. But you mentioned the only the the one that I would get. I wouldn't say religiously. Guitar World. Guitar there was World. also another one because they had the tab in it yes. to learn like the riff pre-internet. Yes. Yes, that so, was really the only way. Unless you went to the music then and bought the the, the, book, the, the tab book, book for twenty five dollars. Yeah, now you got to go all the way down to Guitar but, uh, Center down in Totowa and get it if you're lucky at the music then. Oh yeah, you can go to But it doesn't matter. We're not sponsored by the music then or Guitar yeah. Center, so don't go yeah. to either one of them. Yeah, um, go to Sam Ash. Oh, just um, <laughs> but yeah, they had they would usually have four songs. Only one of them you'd probably want. The other ones were like Sarah McLaughlin. Um, <laughs> In the uh, arms yeah. of the angel. And yeah. then you had to adopt a dog. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah, but then they would have some cool stories about the different guitars and stuff like that. Um, Max Headroom. <laughs> Max Headroom. The other magazine that we didn't really mention. Well, I we used it. it. TV Guy. TV. Oh, I thought that was if you want to call it, If you want to call it a... Uh, we used it. We did. We yeah, didn't we did. use this one, but this... I don't remember my parents ever getting a TV guide. I don't. It would have been nice. <laughs> it really would have been nice, but we just never got no, TV no, guides. No, we, we were a flicker. We we flipped through. So and you never got them either. No. Wow, that's no, interesting. But absolutely. this would have been a cool one to get in the mail. Hundred percent. Well. Yeah. Well, actually, so what's interesting about this? Because you probably bought this at after the fact. After the fact. The only problem with getting something like this in the mail, mm -hmm. okay, and they have the barcode here, is that anything like here that will they'll have um, like your address on it. If you want me to, what I have one more magazine. Okay, that probably has what I'm talking and about. Exactly right, and it's so not on, it's not mine. Of course, because the other magazine that I know, I well, said before, you did. Nintendo Power. This is another one I bought after the fact because my favorite game is Mario RPG, right? Which was on the cover of this, of course. But what you are referring to is this: is the yeah, the post office had to put their thing on there, of course, an Avery label the size of oh, New I see Hampshire. What you're saying. Ruining, it covers up this stuff, so thus ruining the cover. Correct. Yeah. So anyway, well, listen, the the, um, the Barnes and Noble is back open here. Oh, which is terrible. Why? It's Don't, terrible. They have magazines, though. Yeah, they do. They do have magazines. But this was a... Look at this. Look. Oh, yeah. This is exactly what you're talking about. That's the Mortal Kombat 3. Yeah. 
100%. That's awesome. Open to this, yeah. Oh my gosh. We just did a, a, What's going on with a, this? a card. Uh, Oh, sorry. Holy we'll cow! Just, we'll beep that out. We'll Holy out. cow! The well, fudge! This. this is what we... Oh, fudge. Oh, they're double-sided. That's why. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> we're, we're, we just went to a, We just went to a unpacking. No, there's not double-sided. <laughs> oh, there's even more! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, out of nowhere! Oh, and this is what I was talking about. Go ahead. Yeah, so. Listen, he's, he's, the, he's the Mortal Kombat guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the floor to you for the next three minutes. All I'm right, so... These are cool. So we'll look at Shiva. Well, Sh Shiva right here, the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the Takashi or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, on the back of her card, it shows her fatality up here, all two of them or whatever. But then they also have a combat code down here. So the versus screen was, which was kind of cool. They had these, uh, these options to where you can actually say this combat code, and it doesn't say what it does. <laughs> oh, actually switches between opponents at random, which is kind of interesting. So say what? Say what? Anyway, so they had a, a bunch of them, oh, but but it changes. Correct. So like this one for for yeah. the ball is the winner of the first round challenges smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke wins. So that's pretty cool. I I like that a lot. I didn't even know they were in there. I'm glad I chose this magazine because what I did is I bought a whole year's worth from 19. Um, me personally, yeah. I don't think there was a better year than 1994. <laughs> you I, may have. I was 14. Yeah, I was 14 that is a, years old. That is old. an incredible, incredible year for you. That's a great year. I don't have, 1994. I don't think I have a date on this, but it's. It should say. Uh, uh, right until March. It doesn't. That's why I've been trying to tails you. I tells you. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, Nintendo Power. And that's where it gave you some codes. Again, this is all pre-internet stuff, so this is where you have to get the stuff. The other magazine that I remember having, but I think I got them from Brian, uh -huh. BK, uh -huh. is the, the WWF magazine. Oh, my. I don't recall the name of it. March 96. March 96. Okay, so I, the, I think my favorite two-year span is 94 to 96. That was that. Bar I mean, none. I mean, I just, just started high school. Yeah. So that yeah. was, I guess that was pretty cool for you. Formidable time of my life. Yeah. Speaking of your high school years. Yes. Let's get to this next uh, topic here. Why don't you explain that? You know. And I'm going to start the fiber. Over the last couple years. Actually, it's been a while. Um, let's talk about canceled and cancel culture. The dawn of time. The dawn of time. Yeah. So it has graduated mm -hmm. big time. Oh. What reminded me of this that maybe to suggest this topic. Yeah. I saw a short recently on Instagram mm -hmm. of uh, Louis C.K. Okay. And he kind of um, kind of started the more recent canceling. The, the last, the latest wave? The, 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 well, well he, he's back. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's back touring and stuff like that. It's kind of like he did his time. So that's the funny thing about it. So, so that's kind of my question about this, is yeah. that when you're canceled, yeah. It's like, now if you're canceled, you're cool if you're canceled. It's like in Miles way, Davis, right? In a way. Let's, let's it depends on the, the what you're being canceled the severity, for, I think. The uh, severity yes, of being canceled. Of now, injustice. we have the most recent ones. Mm -hmm. Your boy. My boy. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Jeff Epstein, yeah. He was my boy. Conan had a great thing with... Um, I, I don't know. With, with, with uh, the guy who did... Um, Oh my gosh, uh, Deep Thoughts of Jack Handy. Yes, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I forget the writer, but he was, uh, you were awarded no points. Yes. And may God have mercy on his soul. He was that guy. <laughs> yes. And um, no, anyway, he, he goes, uh, what do you mean Jeff Epstein's dead? <laughs> like this whole big thing. He's like, where have you been? Where have you been? This whole bit, it was great. Anyway, I, but. I wouldn't call him canceled though. Who? J so it, it, canceled would be, Go ahead. you have a successful thing going. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> he, I mean, he. You can call it successful, whatever you want. But sure. Let's just call it a TV success. show. Let's right. call it a TV show. Yeah. The, the reason they're getting canceled is because they're doing something terrible. But people are complaining so much that the people that let's just call it networks or sponsors, society. not society. <laughs> let, let, let's let's okay. let's take um, yeah. let's take um, uh, Kevin Spacey. Yes. Okay. Okay. Someone like someone like Kevin Spacey. Yes. Which is which is number one. It, it he it, if here's the other part about it. They need to go back and reissue these these things because 
he he came out clear on that. Yes. He came out clear on that, but my bigger problem is I missed out on the last season of House of Cards <laughs> As a because result. But they, they not, screw, yeah. But be, it's because Netflix didn't have a backbone okay. and say, listen, okay, yes, but maybe we can wait till this comes clear. Let's finish making this so, instead of just automatically canceling that. So now we're, but in no way, shape, or form, yeah. and I'm not going to speak for you. Well, no, I don't know. we're going to preface this. We don't do bad things. We we're we're blah, not, blah, 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 blah. yeah, we're not condoning what any of these monsters like, yeah. uh, like, Bill Cosby, another one of your Correct. boys, Correct. like drugging, <laughs> drugging people and stuff like that. We're not, we're not saying that that is funny. We're not saying that any of that is is uh, no. is good. However, like we're in a hold on, we're in a uh, time era, time era country mm -hmm. where it's you're innocent until proven guilty, right? So normally, okay. normally, normally, but if. Any, but anybody has the right to come forward and say, you you drugged, hey, you drugged this, I don't feel good, and now you're going to take advantage of me. So so now I ruin your life temporarily. It's not you that's ruining my life. That's not who's ruining that life. Who is? Who's ruining the life are people on the internet. Oh, right. Because that you... They hear buzz that you did this and this and this. And the, they have the a The media yeah. has nothing else to do. They yep. can't report on yeah. actual news. Yep. So they will. They will just say, "Hey, it's that so sounds. Boxed. That yep. sounds like something." Which, which, and and I'm not trying to make light of it, but when a news person, yeah, another one of your boys, uh, Matt Lauer, okay, would do the same, ha like, would report on things like this, yeah, and then be doing the same thing in the background. You know, well, it's like. It's like, okay, we're not judging here, yeah, but we are kind of like how... Because the media is the yeah. worst thing ever. Oh, 100%. Except for ESPN. Well, Even ESPN takes their... Wow. Um, yeah, I'm calling you out, media. <laughs> Whoa! No, but my point is the act of being canceled, okay? Yes, yes. We'll go back to Louis C.K. Go ahead. Are people still showing up to his shows? 100%. Are... They can't put him back on TV... Because whiners and complainers will... No, I think it's Weinstein. Weinstein and complainers who may or may not even watch the show to begin with. Right. So, like, we'll go back to my boy, Cosby. He's not really my boy. What he did was terrible. He loved 100%. his sweaters, though. He loved his sweaters. I love that video. I love that TV show. Oh, 100%. And I don't think that you should be... I mean, it well, doesn't matter because now they're not even playing it. Well, they are well, playing it, but they're not. Like it's almost like he is out of history. So, so that 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 was my last point here. Is is now? So when Louis C.K. was canceled, yeah, it was like he went to uh, he went to jail. Well, he didn't go to jail, but but he but he, he did went his to time. Canceled jail. Yes. He went to canceled jail. Yes, and it's like okay, yeah. so you did your time. You paid your, your debt to society. Now you're back. You know, now you're allowed to do this. However, now your your other boy. <laughs> actually, have, it's not my I boy. I have one more boy. Vince Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Yes. Okay. Yes. He he did some heinous acts. You don't know that. Well, uh, it, allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly, and yeah. all these things are allegedly because we don't we don't read the news. We make the news. That's what we do here. Yeah. And so what happens beep, 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 here? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> the you tickers a, that you see you here. You a fax machine. Well. Oh my gosh! Did anybody die today? We even we we didn't even get to that yet. No. Well. Anyways, I'm about to bring somebody up who may have died today. My point being is that all the WWE stuff that we got copyrighted for and yeah. things like that on yeah. the Royal Rumble special, yep. go back and watch that. Yeah. The beginning of that was the WWE took that from us. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. They just copyrighted before us. They used That's it. That's our fault. And they took two weeks, by the way, to do that yeah. to flag it. Yeah. By the way. Anyway. Um. Anything and everything that uh, Vincent Kennedy, uh, Vince McMahon was part of yeah. has been erased from WWE. Brock Lesnar, it might be next. Have you looked? Yeah. It's, he's gone. I, I don't think. Is this gone? Is this gone? I, is I, he gone? I looked, well, maybe you looked more recently, but I looked at one of Stone what, Cold's podcasts and he was still an episode. Who? Uh, Vince? Uh, yeah. Oh. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, my point. Yes. Is that he's before they're scrubbing him, but it's before anybody was proven guilty or innocent. Correct, and and that and that 
I, I question the I, judici judicious system. But here's the problem, okay? <laughs> Whether he did it or not, he does a Cosby he's, he's going to pay in court. Yes. I would not remove him from the TV. Right. He was part get... of the TV. Yeah. He was part of... You cannot remove him. You cannot remove Bill Cosby. You cannot remove... Right. Whatever. Right. That is... The, for, for me, it's a totally separate issue. Uh-huh. I whether not, you're whether you're we're beating women and then you're on my fantasy football team, it sucks. Right. You shouldn't be doing that. It's a historic thing. But you're going to be paying for it on your own time. Uh -huh. I still need you to perform on my team. Okay. Ray, Ray Rice, Ray, Alvin Kamara. Uh, Alvin Kamara. There's a lot of people that were suspended for that stuff. Half of the Saints gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, but yeah. uh, the the canceled culture itself. Yeah. There are. There's always going to be bad people doing bad things. So you pro cancel culture or no? I am not pro cancel culture. Okay. I. You want to get? If you don't like them, don't watch them. Th that's exactly right. It's no different than going to see a comedian. If you don't like what a comedian says on the stage, do not pay to go see them. It's right. very simple. Exactly. Exactly. It's very simple. Right. That's why. But that's my point. People are still coming out to see Louis C.K. Right. That's not being canceled. You, the reason you got canceled is because the network that you are on TV so, for and the advertisers well, that, that so do that. So somebody ancillary was offended by it and then spoke up about the situation that they had no nothing to do with. That's right. Right. Um, that was five. That was five, and uh, it was more than five actually. But we're heated now. Wow. I think we need to take a step back. Are we gonna take a little break? Um, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, I think so. Wannabes. No. Yeah. Listen, if you like what we're doing here. Hey, obey your thirst. We'll be right back. Pepsi? What? Hamburger helper lasagna. For your family. Authentic Italian taste. Hearty robusto. But not too spicy, eh? Hamburger helper lasagna turns your plain hamburger into a delicious Italian meal with authentic Italian taste. Curly Italian noodles, rich tomato sauce, and a better blend of spices. Hamburger helper lasagna. Helper hamburger helper. Make a great meal. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good commercial. Well, I hope they I hope that company makes it. I mean I just let's just, just hope that. And that was a good yeah, that was a good one. Anyway. Yeah. So third topic. Third topic. Put it on the board. Let me get five. I got. Alright. Not the TV show. Oh, because I could have gone on for years. You could. I literally watched three episodes today. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. Home improvements. Yeah. So do you do them yourself? Mm -hmm. Do you hire out? Mm -hmm. If you do hire out, do you hire to like a jack of all trade? Does it depend? What's up? It does. Are What's you up? currently doing a home improvement? I should be. Okay. I'd like to be. Okay. I, here's what it comes down to. Like, let's let's say home something. Home improvements is the topic. Home imp home improvements. Yeah, not the show, unfortunately. <laughs> but here's what happens. <laughs> something happens. <laughs> something happens in your house. Yes. Not necessarily an improvement, but let's say your toilet goes. Ah, maintenance. Maintenance. And now you got to pony up at least, let's say the, the toilet. You got to buy the toilet for 100 bucks, and then you got to... Like two or three. Well, no. Mine's just a, a hole. Um, <laughs> but then you got to pay somebody another $400. Yes. I was... Oh, yes. To come and do it. Now, as a homeowner... Yep. Do you know how to do that? You know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Get the well, ring, you have to learn that grease ring. Right? You have to. You have to learn because you're either going to pay five hundred dollars, yep. or you're going to pay a hundred dollars twice when you break the toilet. What's the biggest home improvement that you've ever done yourself? So besides the toilet, I'll think. I'll think about <laughs> it again. But the one I'm most proud of is I put a. <laughs> I I went out one day to the back back part there back back the back porch and turned on the light. Then the switch went. The oh. switch went. I am no electrician, and you I went hair? to I went to I went to the uh, YouTube University. Yes, and I quickly learned. And basically, it's not really what I'm most proud of, but I was able at at Home Depot. They sold a lighted switch. Okay, you ever see that? It's, it's like it got an LED yes. illuminated, and I was able to switch the switch. I also did. You can I, hire out. For I him. also no. I also did do the toilet. Okay. Um, but we're talking so more about maintenance. Stuff. Yeah, Re replacement yeah. stuff. But the real the reason why is because I don't want to have to hire somebody to come into my house yeah. and pay them sure. five hundred dollars to do something that it's if I lot. just took a little bit of time to learn how to do. Yeah. So I've I'm 
Okay, so we bought our house 12 years ago, mm-hmm. and um, after a month being in there, mm-hmm. um, we had to redo our bathroom. Now, bathrooms cost a boatload of money. A lot of money. Like a lot. And I don't know anything about... I know enough to be dangerous. Like, water goes downhill. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If it goes up, leave. <laughs> Just go somewhere else. Hire, Call somebody else. Electricity and I don't really mix that no. well. That's why I was so excited that I was able to do that. And it worked. And it didn't burn the house down. So, But or you're right. You own a house. And it's like you these little things, they build up. If you call out for every single thing... Oh, yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, it adds up. Give them the house. Might as well. So I redid a bathroom. You. I did. Okay. My grandfather and I, we demoed. And, ah, and, and, okay. So it wasn't no, no. you. My grandfather is 92 years old right now. But he probably knows way more than you do. Uh, he knows how to get in my way. That's oh. what he does. And no. No, he, he was trying to cut corners on a lot of things. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can't do that anymore. It's not 1950. That's gum. You just, <laughs> you're just putting that up with gum. You literally wet your finger and just went like this on the... That's not grout, no, Pop. That's, <laughs> What's going on? Gr- it's okay. You don't need it. It's all right. It's it, all right. It can it's hit the, it can hit the that's all right. Board. So anyway, so I did... Um, I redid a bathroom okay. myself, tiled. Um, the only thing I did farm out mm-hmm. was the whole reason why we were doing the bathroom was we had a slow drain. Mm-hmm. And we had cast iron pipe, not PVC, cast iron pipe. It was four inch pipe, but probably only about like an <laughs> that inch. Much, like your arteries. Right. Yeah. Like my arteries after yeah, we do yeah. these uh, food yeah. reviews. Yes. <laughs> anyway. After a five guys. After a five guys, uh, a countless crowd, cracker barrel reviews. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Sebastian, we're coming for you. Anyway, so uh, no. Sebastian. So they replaced the my, my drain, the cast iron pipe that was galvanized at this point, yes. with PVC. And it's been flowing ever since. Um, and they set a new fiberglass tub. I had a cast iron tub. And that thing was huge and heavy. Heavy, yeah. So, but everything else I did. Vanity, normal plumbing. You ever yeah. had to clean out a drain or something like that? Uh, hundreds of times, yeah. Take apart and put well, it back in? N- n- take it apart, the drain? You ever do, do a faucet? Uh, well, this was all new. Yeah? Uh, I didn't do you that, did but I used to... <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> well, so at Home Depot, I used to have to put that stuff together. So I know how to do it. Oh, the displays. Yes. Yeah. But, so, but yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty interesting. On If you do it like once or twice... I could be doing more, if that's what you're saying. No, no, no. I'm not... I am not. doing more. This, this isn't... A, uh, I'm not uh, accusatory or attackful. I'm just saying, if you try something once, like yeah. beginning of COVID, my basement flooded. Oof. Okay. Yeah. And everything's got to get ripped up. Or, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the remediation company came in mm-hmm. and they, so we had paneling kind of like what's back here. Yeah. Well, the, the order, so uh, this is the last thing I'll say, but they had to do relief cuts. Okay. <laughs> if you get something flooded, usually it's drywall and they can do one foot or four feet of relief cuts. Well, with paneling, you could do a relief cut, but you can't really match up pl- wood, <laughs> wood on wood, right? It's not even real wood. It's not. It's it's, it's actually quarter inch. Uh, it's actually quarter inch wood. It's like masonite. This? Yeah, um, masonite. Type well, of if wood. you look, so, this is two. You can't see it, but this is two different panels, two different oh colors. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> um, so what's whatever interesting, they did here was just absolutely terrible. Look at the molding, if you want to call it that. The crown. It's not even molding. I know. It's just pieces of wood. Shoe molding. Yeah. So, anyway, I had to redo my entire basement. This is going to be my next project. You're going to do it? So... We should we should definitely do it as part of the episode. So, you see this here, the paneling? Yeah. That's why I tried to cover it up with that stuff. That's, that's easy. best I could. You know what you can do? You just go over it with quarter-inch drywall. Well, you yeah. just go right over it. Boom, 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 yes. With a nail gun. But then it'll short... It'll, it'll, you'll be closer to me. A half an inch. If you look, the other room over there uh-huh. had the same thing. Oh, really? Same st- weird thing there. Identical. Identical. But what I was going to do was what you said. I was going to pull the paneling down. Mm-hmm. I know you're saying to go over it. I was going to pull the paneling down, put up drywall. Uh-huh. And I was like, uh, <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> then what I wanted back. to do, I looked online, and what people were doing yep. were spackling uh, the area in between here. No. I better, did no. one wall. And all that dust, everywhere. because everything has to be sanded. And it's like, I, I can't imagine yeah. anyone having the patience to do that. Long story short, I went out and got some nice looking paint, painted it. Yeah. That's it. So I, 
and it completely changes the room. One wall in my basement where water did not touch um, is paneling, painted. You would have never known. No, but that that's... But now you know. Now that, I and I it. used to hate painting. Yeah. I mean, I still kind of hate it's it. It's kind of the best part, because you're I, done after that. <laughs> yeah, but it takes to six so long. I know. So that's home improvement. Um, let us know in the comments down below if you have done any home improvements, what your uh, claim to fame is, uh, if you've you electric... You know what I would really like to you do? You ever hurt yourself doing home improvements? I have. <laughs> Not that I can remember. I'm, maybe. Um, threw my back out a couple times. Yeah. Um, I demoed my front steps. Mm -hmm. Redid oh. those. Those are fun. Yeah. Huge. Huge. Anyway. I was just going to say something. Go on. This is going to be important. Was it? it? Yeah. Not as important as this next topic. Topic number four. Was this your topic? Or was this mine? This was yours. You came up with this, and this is kind of going into, okay. this is a controversial topic, controversial if you will. Controversial topic, yeah. Just like the cancel culture and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to put a timer on? We're yeah. just going to talk Consider about it. Consider it on. We have, is we this on? We haven't used it once, but sure. Anyway. Timer up. It kind of gives us a governing uh, angle yeah. here. Yeah. Cloning. Yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts on cloning? So I have a couple thoughts on cloning. It depends on what we're clo what are we talking about here? Are we talking yes. about us cloning? Okay. J a human? Well, everything. What I, do you think? Th I think it would be great to have another one of me. At least one who can can go to places in my absence. <laughs> a standard? But so a that's, stunt double? That's that's really that's really what we need to establish here. Does the clone know everything that I know? Probably not, right? Mm. It's gonna be freshly born. Right? Is that how clown cl cloning? Do I have works? a crappy clowning. haircut like that? I think I meant clowning. Clowning? <laughs> we'll have a crappy haircut like you, that. You, listen, you'd you'd always have somebody to high five. You ever see that? What's that With movie? Uh, where where it's it's a regression. It's not. It's Benjamin Button. No, it's one of the old Wilson brothers, and it's uh, it's not evolution. It's de-evolution, isn't it? Is it? Uh, anyway, sorry. It's I a terrible movie. Don't recall. Oh, great. So I don't see that movie. Good talk. But there's like a hundred different uh, uh, Luke Wilsons in it, I uh, think, that you never want to see. Uh, you got your boy ChatGPT there. Well, this is... Live. Yes. I, I basically asked it. What are some... Uh, Topics? What are some... <sighs> Benefits of cloning? So they're saying medical advancements. So, okay. I, feel, I would feel bad, though. Let's say you clone yourself, okay? Just for the sheer... Just for the... Just, just for the giggles. No, okay. not for the giggles, but you know eventually that you're going to need a kidney. And you're going to have to take it from the, so, you. So from... Excuse me. Harvesting organs yeah. standpoint. Yeah. So you just have, but you just have a separate freezer at your house? You just, wouldn't have a freezer. The guy would be alive. <laughs> that, that That's my point. So Now, like if, now you're going to murder the guy? Well... If you're going to use your, if you're going to, if the whole point of you cloning somebody or clone, let's just talk about ourselves. The whole point of cloning ourselves would be for being able to harvest that body. <coughs> Why? Right? Let's say you need another heart or you need something. You're going to act, you're going to have to at some point go to that, go to you and say, look, I know you're just like, you're really getting your, your feet underneath you and you have a new job and it's great. You started a family. Well, but I need that pancreas. I had a question though. Yeah. What? So if you're cloning yourself, yes. and you have this ailment of your pancreas that you used, yes. If you clone yourself, won't the clone have the same problem in the pancreas? Eventually. <laughs> well, that's a good point. But maybe not. Maybe it, it's not a heavy drinker. Not that that. So you're not you're that gonna, the pancreas does that. You're gonna but. tell your clone how to live. I'm coming for that heart at some point. I'm coming for that heart. That's my heart. I cloned you. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Uh, uh, now, here, I, my rule on cloning is you could clone the animals because we need uh, for that. That solves some world hunger stuff. Well, so what? What our friend here says: species uh, conservation. But what's the point of cl <laughs> why cloning it though when you can just have it breed? Right, right. Or maybe stop killing the animals. Wow. Uh, agriculture advancements. Cloning can be used in agriculture to reproduce superior livestock or crops with the desired traits. Well, we all know how that... Disease is. resistance. Right. What? Well... Do we have any movies? Planet of the Apes. Was, was that cloning, though, or was no, that just... No, uh, advancing the species, and now those damn dirty apes come after us. <laughs> and then, you know, the... Uh, multiplicity. That's what it is. That's the multiplicity. No, I, that, no that, that was with um, Keaton. Yeah, Michael Keaton. Yeah. Yeah. 
Anyway, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then I also asked it for um, funny or ir ironic reasons to clone a human. Right. And they came up with instant sibling rivalry resolution. <laughs> instant backup dancer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But I guess the same. That's my problem. I guess the same could be true for for you know like for football. The problem is. What if you're Demar Hamlin and you die on the field? You just get the Demar next man, next man Demar up? Hamlin two point oh yeah two point oh. <laughs> what number would yeah. it be? <laughs> Imagine bringing your clone to family gatherings and social Sorry, events Demar. to make small talk and endure awkward situations together, effectively doubling the discomfort for everyone involved. <laughs> By the way, real quick on Demar Hamlin, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Did you know he didn't win Comeback Player of the Year? <laughs> yeah, you said that to me. But I, 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 I was well, actually you know in the did? middle. Yeah, he Joe should. Fl Joe Flacco. Did. But he should. <laughs> did, but did you die? <laughs> I'm cracking myself up over here. Anyway, let me at look least somebody else. Because you brought that up, and I was like, I don't even remember him playing. Let's see. 20, he did. Yeah, but. How much? Uh, not enough. Twenty twenty three stats. Okay, so you want to come back? Oh, we're done. He made he made the playoffs. Joe Flacco made the playoffs. Playoffs, <laughs> playoffs, playoffs. So yeah. did Demar Hamlin. Yeah, he did too. He did make the playoffs. The Bills did. No, he played. It looks like he played two regular season games. Yeah, one he or died. Three. In. <laughs> no, in twenty twenty three, he died oh, in twenty twenty two. That's right. He came back, and he lost both games. And he's had a total. Go on. Of four tackles in the whole season. So that's the comeback player of the year? <coughs> Come on, dude. Fantasy juggernaut right there. Come on, dude. Anyway. Cloning? You have you any final thoughts on cloning? Uh, clone, Should we do it? Let's do it. You know it? what I would like to do? What's that? I would like to clone my breakfast order in the morning mm -hmm. and then have it for lunch. I don't see why you can't do that. You just reorder it. But yeah. now that goes away. If I cloned it, it wouldn't go away. You just don't want to have to pay for it. Correct. That's it. Okay. We pay for it anyway, in the long run. <laughs> it's, all all it's, it's all paid, paid for. It's all paid for. It's all a ruse. So cloning, you Cloning's for it or against it? Um, I in the with the with a good rule set. That's the problem. You're gonna get black market cloning, and you know, <laughs> hack cloning, hack cloning, and uh, AI cloning. <laughs> You'll be walking down the street one day and be like, wait a minute. Is that me? Is that my <laughs> grandmother? Oh, man. I guess, I guess you would, we would really need to come up with some rules. Because if you we clone if you clone rules. somebody now, they're going to be one? How, like, is that how Yeah, how does that work? How does that work? I don't know. It's not like an instant clone where you just get like another me and another, 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 another. Let, let, me, let me call my, my cloning buddy. Yeah, call your clone. Excuse me. Clone? <laughs> how, like... Is this I, clone? I, is this clone? How, how I, do you know anybody that? Well, let's how about this? That Who would cloned. you wish was would not be cloned? <laughs> I have a good list. Well, I guess that that basically just means who you want to be. Who do you want to be dead? No, you couldn't imagine life without that person. But if they had a second but person, you wouldn't want to. I think you're looking at me. No. Wow. No, no, no. What? We could have. I, I couldn't do this podcast. Hey, oh. Whoa, 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 there's somebody that we, we reference a lot on this pod. Oh, but wait a minute. No, sorry. Can we go back to the yeah. cancel culture real quick? Yeah. Because this brings up, this ties it all in. Who are we canceling? No, I'm not canceling anybody, but do you know who the first, I, he, I don't even think he was canceled, but the first one to ever, that I, in, that I can remember? Andrew Jackson. I don't know about that. No. Go on. Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> <laughs> Pee Wee Herman did basically the same exact thing. Yeah. yeah, sort of. But well, him and George Michael probably did it in the same way. Because um, yeah. Anyway, and but he died, by the way. I don't know if you know that. George Michael did. Yeah. Kiwi Herman. <laughs> and both of them did. Paul Rubens in a row. Yeah. Paul and Rubens. Unfortunately, as Paul. of as of recording time. Yeah. Carl Weathers. Oh, big up. Still dead. Still dead. Still dead. He hasn't come back yet in the sequel. <sighs> no. <laughs> hey. What's up? Where are we? We are not there anymore. Actually, no. Actually, we don't have our big, 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 big green screen, but yeah. we're going to come right here. I don't know. You have your own. I have my own. Here, right here? Right here. How'd that get there? Right here. How did that get here? Here, here, right here. All right? Do you want to edit this? Last chance. Did you have an alternate? No. You didn't oh. like my alternate. I don't remember what it was. It's kind of this, but it, it was... Uh, 
he's writing it down. I'm passing notes in class. Did you want to do that or this? Oh, no, no. Okay. No, that that I can wow. give you some background on. That I get. It's a, it's a one word answer. It's because he's eight. No. <laughs> Racism. Although it is funny. It is. It's not racist. I just. You want to tell him? Yeah. Let's just tell him what it was. Top 10 canceled racist of all time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, we're, we're not doing that. Um, it was ethnic foods. That was what he wanted the audible to. But I'm not going to be able to provide any information. Well, like there. any ethnic food? Tacos. I, yeah, you never had Indian food. I oh, have. You don't mm. like Indian food. You he doesn't like sushi. No. What's up with this well, guy? That really has nothing to do with the uh, culture or ethnic. It's Japanese. It's yeah, I just don't like fish. Hi. Anyway, yeah. let's go. Well, we're gonna turn it into something that I do like. Let's go. We're gonna do Rushmore of desserts. Oh, you... I thought you said deserts. Yes. I. Uh, oh. <laughs> What's your top four deserts of all top time? Top four deserts is really something I can get behind. <laughs> Death Valley. <laughs> yeah. Death Valley. No, we're going desserts. Desserts. You want to go first or you, you want me to? You can go first. All right. I've thought long and hard about this. All right. Number one. Um, I like a good cannoli. Okay. I like a good cannoli. Um, a ganole, if you will. Mm -hmm. If you're... Playing for that uh, ilk. That's ethnic. It is. I that's know. A, that's that's my point. Food. That's ethnic. Okay. All right. So well, okay, that's my point. You pizza. Oh, oh. <laughs> So number one is a cannoli. Yeah. Number two. Number one. Well, I'm in no particular oh, order. Okay. Okay. My Rushmore consists of. Yeah, I got you. Got you. Got you. A cannoli. Number two would be a blueberry pie. Now that's very specific. Um, I'm a big fan of blueberry pie. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's very, it's kind of an unsung hero in, in my regard. You've yeah. heard of apple pie. Of course. You've heard of cobblers. Who hasn't? Blueberry pie. Do yourself a favor. Get one. Get one. Get and one. if you bring it by me, you ain't getting one. <laughs> okay? Uh, that's number two in no per, uh, particular order. A milkshake. A good chocolate malted Milkshake. And explain the to me the difference again. You ever have Whoppers? No, because they're disgusting. Well, they, they kind of have a chalk feeling in yeah. it. Yeah, is that condensed milk? Is that what it is? I don't know what it is. Oh. It doesn't, it's chalk for all I care. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they, imagine if you cr ground up Whoppers and put them in a milkshake. So is it, does it taste like sandy? A little bit Melted? of a texture and it's kind of, th it doesn't make it thicker, but it's a more of a texture, right? Okay. Kind of like a cat's tongue. <laughs> Sam, Sam tongue. Okay. Anyway, yeah. so I'm what I'm, from what I'm told. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, a nice, good, a nice, <laughs> under, good. undercooked yeah. slightly mm -hmm. chocolate chip cookie. Okay. That is my Rushmore of desserts. Of desserts. Okay. Yes. For mine, I will. I will also. I'll, I'll throw in a nice uh, chocolate chip cookie. Okay. I'm also a big fan of ice cream. Okay. Like uh, it's ice cream. Flavor. My favorite flavor is vanilla, but I can't have it with just vanilla. It's got to have <laughs> Reese's Pieces in it. It's got to have something else in it. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Um, a a, cho a uh, ice cream sundae. Okay. In a vanilla cone, in a uh, waffle cone. Waffle cone. Waffle cone. Yes. Um, another good dessert that I would take is a brownie. Ooh. You like... A nice, delicious brownie. The chocolate? Chocolate brownie? Chocolate... Brownie. Brownie. Yeah. Um, and then you got to go... You don't with... like the, bo the the blonde one? What is it called? No, the, uh, the blondie? With, the blondie the with blonde. the... With the ice cream, the vanilla ice cream on top, that's a good one on well, the hot skillet. I, well, so I would take a brownie with the ice cream on it. Chocolate brown eyes. Sorry, no. Nice. A brown. Uh, I would. Uh, I <laughs> you mean, don't like brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I would also. Um, I'm gonna throw this in there because it's part of it. It's not really. So you part got of three. It. What's your yeah. fourth one? I th I don't know, man. I, like the <laughs> I don't know, Chico. Chocolate molten lava cake. You're trying to get non ethnic as possible. <laughs> I, I can't think of, you unless say, you can give me what did you say? One. Chocolate eclair? Is that what you said? No, molten lava. Molten oh, uh, lava cake. Lava cake. <sighs> That's a good one. But I think I would probably go with a piece of, I don't know, cake. 
cake. And I, I don't know. Say, cake. <laughs> well, because now I'm thinking like angel food cake would be Ooh. really great to have. All also, right. mm. uh, just a regular vanilla cake Gosh. or a, a um, you are so marble blind. cake. Do you have any taste buds? You have no taste buds. Oh, please. Please. Have you seen any of the reviews? <laughs> it's terrible. Not a fan of cheesecakes. Really? Yeah. Wow. I love I love cheesecake. Yeah, you I love them it. so much that they're not even on your. I, I mean, because these other four, I would. Yeah, I would like more than the other ones. Any honorable mentions? Um, you said ice cream. I like good ice cream. Um, <clears throat> ice cream on your blueberry pie? No, I no. like whipped cream. A uh, little. Uh, cool, by the way, Cool Whip, mm -hmm. right? There's um, I forget who makes it. It's a uh, flip, flip whip. Anyway, uh, it was in a can of Cool Whip style can. Cool, Cool Whip. Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Yeah, I gotta get you it. Interesting. You like blue cheese? I love. Is it crumbles? It's disgusting. Is it really? <laughs> where would you? Where would be the application for that? Apparently on wings. Oh, okay, I can see and that. And they just go on the yeah, on the uh, because wings. it's so tough to dip it. Right, and yeah. so ice cream, and then um, there was another <laughs> same guy had the uh, pickle flavored ice cream. Actually, he had pickle pickles flavored. in the ice cream. I think that's uh, Lewin's, Van Lewin's. Uh, mm -hmm. They're at Walmart. You can get the little... I like Ben and Jerry's too, but I wouldn't count that as a dessert. Like, uh, when I'm thinking dessert, yeah. I'm thinking of something that would be brought out to you at the table. At the table. Like, well, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cookies. You know what I like to do? Anytime that we have, like, sometimes we have pasta. Actually, every Monday we have pasta at our house. Like spaghetti. Pasta for, party. Pasta, pasta night. And um, sometimes I'll go get uh, some bread at... Anthony and Sons, the bakery yep. by us. Mm -hmm. They have the case, right? Yeah. And they have like literally all the. So I come home with that 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 white square box, and my wife is like, "What you got in that? Box? What you got in that box? What's in the box? What's in the box?" And uh, it's literally just one of everything, like lobster claws, like the lobster yeah. tails, lobster tails, um, an egg clair. Yeah. It was good, but um, cannoli is the way, way to go in there. I could go with a milkshake, too. <laughs> Milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Mil Oreo milkshake? Oreo milkshake. Not a McFlurry. McFlurry is good. A Oreo McFlurry is good. But. Some people may think it's, what did you think it was? What? What? <laughs> Nothing. Um, My wife wrote yeah, McFlurries. Yeah, what did she say? It wasn't, a, yes, but it wasn't a McDonald's. It wasn't a um, Oreo. Uh, the Shamrock Shake? No, it was a it was a McFlurry with okay. a specific oh with thing, um, but I don't remember what it was. peanut butter, right? I, I don't know. She's your wife. I don't know. I wasn't listening. I've, I've often been accused of not listening. Uh, what? Huh? Hmm? Uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. Any honorable mentions? <laughs> I, you know what they have at Shoprite? Well, they got at Shoprite. They, they I don't think they have it all the time, but they have a Reese's peanut butter cup cookie. Like a cake size? No, it's cookie? a it's a it's a decent sized chocolate chip is, cookie. Is it the it comes cup? in a two pack. Oh really? But no, it's like chopped up peanut butter cups in with a in a cookie. A chocolate chip cookie style. <laughs> Magnifico. Muy um, <laughs> Balissimo. <laughs> yeah. My other favorite cookie. Yeah. Even though we're not on that yet, there is a it's called a candy cookie candy. at Panera. It's M and M's, but they can't uh, call it M and M's. There's no M and M's in it. It's a, it's a, it's a sugar cookie with little, and they're, they're M and M's basically. Okay. All right. Well, you have a favorite cookie? Chocolate chip. A specific, a specific one. I'm asking. Otis Spunkmeyer. Okay. All right. They, they're. This is uh, a whole other episode because I can go on for days with cookies. So that, so Otis actually, uh, your cousin JP. Yeah. And I worked together. Yeah. In the old building that we worked in. Yes. Um. They would get Otis oh, Spunkmeyer and they would get them raw and they would have to cook them. Yeah. But they would undercook them and they were chocolate chunk cookies, not chocolate chip, but chocolate chunk. Mm -hmm. And literally, you you picked it up. And we it should would, do an episode on cookies. It would just be like this. It would just it, it would <laughs> fall. It was just you just cooked enough to barely, not kill you. Barely <laughs> to, not, like, to not to not kill like, you with the egg. And salmonella's gone. And <laughs> pull it. Pull oh, it out. They, they have a specific <laughs> stick. That's right. Instead of the temperature, it'll be like it'll say salmonella or no salmonella. <laughs> and as soon as that hits, no salmonella, <laughs> out. I and then you know how the cooking process still happens out. after you oh, remove of course. it. Yeah. I mean, they they probably pre-pulled a couple yeah. salmonella cookies. You want to know my favorite? I will. Hey Matt, what this was, is going to be yours? a class? Maybe not my favorite, but a Girl Scout cookies. 
Mrs. Fields. <laughs> Mrs. Fields. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, oh, it'd be great, but all of Mrs. Fields is gone. What are you, four? Well, <laughs> I haven't told him yet. And I'm going to tell him as soon as, we, as soon as we turn this off. Yeah. But stay, stay close. Stay close. Stay tuned for a future episode where we may or may not have a Mrs. Fields cookie. So that's that's all I got for today. How old is that? I uh, oh, it's a rundown thing. There's still probably some in the back. It's in the garbage. Um, <laughs> it's on the bottom of the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can eat that, yeah. you get it's all just food. demolished and uh, at the bottom. We can probably find one though. Oh man! Final I, thoughts? Yes. Have you uh, cook? While well, we're talking about cookies, real quick. Yeah. Let's go. Um, other, let's, have, you you to, have you ever been to Rushmore? Have you been to? You want to do another Rushmore? A out second. Of nowhere? Clear the board. Out of nowhere. Clear it. Let's Clear. do it. Top Let's four. take a quick break. We'll come back. We're going out of nowhere with another Double Rushmore. Rushmore. <laughs> oh my gosh, we You're are all back. back. Here we go. We, Double Rushmore out back. of nowhere. If you've lasted this long, you've watched too long. Is anyway. this long? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. Very long. Too bad. We are so punchy right now. Is this long? <laughs> Here we go. Is this yeah. long? <laughs> this is long. <laughs> anyway, so put up, clear it. All right, clear the board. Top. For cookies. Yeah. Okay. Specific uh, cookies. Specific. Yeah. All right. Uh, First of all, before we get into this, yes. Before you choose your four, yes. Have you ever been to Crumble? I have. A fan or not a fan? Slightly a fan. Okay. Uh, here's very, what happens. Very overpriced. Very overpriced, but what happens is they just load it with different stuff. Yes. And then it literally just crumbles and it's not a cookie anymore. It's the store. That's the store. But, um, go on. There's anyway. just like many of the cookies, there are some that don't need to be in existence. Correct. And then they have good ones yes. that I happen to like. Okay. So you're going to take the, the floor on this one on your side. Okay. I went first last time. I did not really put too much thought of it because it just literally came out of nowhere. Literally out of the ether. I will put Mrs. Fields cookies in there. Okay. The only reason I say that is because when you walk into the mall or when you used to walk into the mall wow. for I was people just there. that still go to the mall. Yep. You can smell that. Now it's been overtaken by Annie Ann's oh, and yeah. uh, Cinnabon. Oh, but you used to, the only smell that you would have would right. be Mrs. Fields cookies. And diarrhea. Go on. Mrs. Fields cookie, chocolate chip cookies. Uh huh. I'm going to put from the grocery store Chips Deluxe. You know Chips Deluxe? Chips it's Deluxe. Chip, it's chip, it's uh, just chip, I think it's Chips Ahoy. I think it's the same company. <laughs> but with M&M's. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? Because you're like, Chips Deluxe. You know what it is? It's Chips, De and you're trying not to say Deluxe. <laughs> it's not Deluxe. It's not Deluxe. I don't know what that means. But if you don't know right. what it is, then I have to tell it's you. It's M&M's and cookies. Right? And, and, uh, okay. Can you come back to me? Are you kidding me? Come on. Famous Amos. Fame, you're just naming stuff. No, that that is one of my favorite cookies. Okay, it's your favorite cookie. Yeah. Okay. It is. Um, my all, my other favorite is the their sugar cookies. Uh huh. Usually you get them. You can get them anytime, but usually in the uh, holiday time. Yep. Sugar cookies with the real thin, like crystally looking. Oh. Sprinkles. Okay. Yeah. That's my four. I probably need, we could. We're wiping it out. We're going another. Just kidding. No. <laughs> Clear the board. Clear All right. My four, and he, he's probably going to come back from out of nowhere and yeah. club me over the head and probably be like, I want that on mine. And then I'll have to go and post and change all this. We'll see. Anyway. Yeah. So mine, mm -hmm. my four, uh, I don't have brand. I'm not brand loyal. I just want them done right. Okay. okay. So I like a good oatmeal raisin cookie. Oh shit. Oh my god. You're right. <laughs> I got you. You're right. Oatmeal raisin cookie yeah. is not is not doesn't beat a chocolate chip cookie. No. It doesn't. Because it's a different. Because it's like it's a different. It's a different. You know why? Because I want to be a little healthy. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing more healthy than an oatmeal raisin. Right. And what is, who who makes it? Uh it's the one with the two. Do you like them hard? No. Soft. Soft, of course. And who, who um, I like both. Oh my gosh. What, what's, is it a little, little Debbie? No. Yeah, little Debbie makes the, the sandwich. pies. The, yes. the little pies, yes. right? Yes. Oh yes. my yes. gosh. Yes. That's so good. That was the gateway. And I'm like, wait, they just have regular cookies on them? Anyway. But so that, I get rid of the cream. I mean, it's not hurting anybody. I mean, whoa. <laughs> anyway. So that, I'm going to go kind of off the beaten path here. Mm. 
Well, it has to be a chocolate chip cookie, of mm -hmm. course. Wow, it has to be. Off the beaten path. And that's not my off the beaten path one. So that's two. Um, a fortune cookie. Mostly because. Okay. Two things. One, if you ever get a fortune cookie, you can crumble it on ice cream and it actually has a nice little texture there. Mm -hmm. But what else does it have? Because that's all they give you at Chinese restaurants? It has the fortune in it. And what do you do? What do you add to the fortune? You know what you add to the end of every fortune. What are you supposed to do? I don't know. When you're a 14 year old kid, boy, and you're going to the China buffet for the first time, you get that, and you're like, you will succeed in life. And then you always have the two word answer that you add in everyone. You curse on this podcast, but you can't say in bed on the next one. In bed? That's you never heard that? Never. Oh, come on. It's so great. <laughs> it's like, yes, you will, uh, you will, uh, what was Attain it? Attain great heights. <laughs> you, you, you will show feats of strength. You, okay. <laughs> right? okay. the, you have lasting endurance. Right? Never ever use that. Never, never ever use it. Never heard that? So, okay. So that Fortune just, cookie. just because of the fun. In your Rushmore of cookies. Yes. That's what I said. I, I, I said it. I'm just. Okay. Verifying. And then I said, I said oatmeal raisin cookie. And you're like, oh my God. Oh, that, <laughs> was, that was a good one. I've cheated death here. That was a good one. Go ahead. And one the more. last one. Yeah. Again, around the holidays. Yep. Pizzelles. I don't know if they are actually cookies, but they are a pastry of course. They of, are. Of source. But I'm thinking they're Italian. They are. Ethnic food. I have um, a maker. Do you have a press? I have one from the 60s or 70s, yes. 80s or 90s? Shh. And today on PLJ? Anyway, so the the Pizzell press. It's basically, it's a waffle iron. Or it's a, a thin Or, or a soda iron. can crusher. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. I guess you can crush them. You could probably do it. And it yep. has a nice little doily um, Yep, it's got a little it. design on it. Yeah. Was that was that yours hand-me-down? Or did you buy it? Or was that... It's not mine. L-Trains? Mm-hmm. Okay. But... Since it just jogged my memory. Oh, here we go. The animal crackers. I, I guess they're not really cookies, but those animal crackers that come in the Barnum and Bailey box. Oh yeah. Those have just amount, just the right amount of sugar. Oh, yeah. I think right. to make it a cookie. Well, I don't know about that, but anyway, you're probably wrong. But that's fine. Um, there's no, there's no right answers anymore. No. There's never right answers. Are we gonna go with the three? <laughs> We're not going three. for a third Rushmore. No. You have to stay tuned to the next one to yeah. see that for yeah. another Rushmore. But hey, thanks for joining We've us. We've already today. took up too much of your time. And you know what? We're probably gonna take up more. Listen, if you're still watching, send this to somebody who right. has not seen us. Yeah. And s tell them that we like cookies. Yeah. And we'll take cookies. Yeah. From Crumble. And it's almost, it's about that time of year where Girl Scout cookies are, are probably infiltrating Thin Mints? America. Yeah. Some, what are they? Uh, Samoas. Samoas, yeah. Oh, tag alongs. Or is that the one with the peanut butter? Yeah. The we zone, gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go get some uh, yeah, Chinese some food. Some Chinese food. <laughs> All right, that's John. He's Matt. We're from out of nowhere. That's yeah, a green screen. Yeah. See ya. God knows what's up there.